so what we want to do now is want to play exactly what uh, Shannon Sharp had to say yesterday uh, on ESPN First Take to Kendrick Perkins, and then we're going to come back and uh, continue on with the show. Take a listen to Shannon here. Yeah, I respect Perk's opinion, although I didn't agree with it. LeBron was asked a question about Kyrie, and he basically sure. said, look, he said, I'm, I'm extremely excited for him. We know what type of player we, he was playing alongside me. He and I playing together. We won a championship, went to two NBA finals. But I'm mad as hell the guy ain't my running mate anymore. And I, I thought that was a perfect, uh, a perfectly fine response. Perk didn't view it that way. Perk viewed it in a way that he thought he was trying to upstage Kyrie and take some of Kyrie's shine. That's not the way I viewed it. But Perk's entitled to his opinion. Although, you know, we can have an opinion, Stephen, and you have an opinion, and we disagree. Right. It's kind of like mm -hmm. Janae and Andrea. They just have an opinion. Stephen A., we disagree with it. I'm not about, I'm not about unfollow somebody because I have a disagreement or they have a disagreement about my <laughs> opinion. That's not how I operate. But clearly, you know, LeBron probably felt some type of way. Like, bro, all I was doing was giving an honest response, and someone took what I said, tried to make it more than what it was. So I don't have a, I don't have a problem with what Perk did because that's his opinion. And LeBron, if he felt some type of way, that's his, that's the way he feels. I'm not going here to tell him how he should or shouldn't feel. But, but I did laugh. So I, Perk, so not you, Jesus. <laughs> so you, you you might not be Jesus. What you, John the Baptist? Yeah. I mean, which one? So you heard what Shannon Sharp had to say. Of course, he disagreed uh, with Kendrick Perkins, and and a lot of a lot of LeBron guys disagree with him. Funny enough, I came across I don't know the name of the channel, but this guy who was getting getting at Kendrick Perkins, man, he was pretty upset. He was a LeBron guy, and it was pretty, pretty funny. It was like, I think he was like calling Kendrick Perkins like this doofus, this doofus. I'm like, I'm like, yo, he's really, really mad about it. What are my thoughts on this? Well, of course, Shannon Sharp was going to defend um, LeBron there. But to be fair to Shannon, there are times where he pushes back on LeBron. Like when LeBron had those Miami Heat comments and Shannon Sharp pushed back on him uh, there. In the case of Kendrick and, and, and LeBron James, I just think that Kendrick Perkins is reaching the point where he's like... You know, Kendrick Perkins is reaching the point where I think a lot of these grown ass men need to reach as, as well. These people that are afraid to fall out of the favor of LeBron. And I'm like, why y'all care so much? Y'all acting like y'all married to the dude. Who I, I'm I'm trying to think like the only reason I would care. I'm being I'm keeping it funky with you guys. The only reason I would care to maintain a relationship with another dude to the level that some of these dudes do when they go up here and twerk it up all over the place for LeBron James is if I feel like um, it is beneficial to me still to me by uh, to, to still maintain that relationship with that person, maybe monetarily or whatever, maybe for protection or whatever. But if there's no real reason, if there's no monetary reason, if there's no other reason beyond that, why would I care? In the case of Kendrick Perkins, he's married. He asked, why would I care? If another dude's the, the dude decides to be my friend or not, what, like why exactly would I care? We're not in high school. I'm not like, oh, we, well, I'm not gonna be able to sit at the lunch table with them no more. I'm not gonna be a part of the like. We're, these are grown ass men with kids. Why would you care if LeBron unfollows you? So what? Who cares? Like I, I'm. That's the part I'm trying to understand in all of this. Dudes trying to stay in other dudes' good graces and all of that. Now, if you need some money and, you know, being connected to that guy is a way for you to get money, then, yeah, I can understand. You twerk it up. You let him slap you with some honey and you keep it moving. But in the case that if you're financially good and you got a family and all that, like, I'm just trying to picture it. Like, why would I care to maintain some relationship with some dude, especially if they're not adding to my bottom line? Why would I care? Why would I feel afraid? Like, oh man, I better, I better not say the the wrong thing. The fall out of his grave. What is? Uh, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but last time I checked, Kendrick Perkins is being employed by ESPN, not LeBron James. So why again? Why do you care what LeBron thinks? Again, 